Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and this is another WordPress Wednesday. Hey, what about the opportunity to offer more content as somebody is scrolling down your blog article what if you had some related posts living there I think it'd be kind of cool let's get you some more clicks and let's increase your user time on your website by adding in related posts I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it right now I'll show you a solution a free plugin that will allow you to do this no matter what theme you're using for WordPress and I'll also show you how to do this if you're running the Divi theme of course, all this is brought to you by Liquid Web, the most helpful humans in hosting. If y'all ever need help with WordPress support, fast and great secure hosting, and of course, anything to do with WooCommerce, specifically e-commerce for WordPress, check out Liquid Web and their amazing support team over there. All right, y'all, let's get to the tutorial. I'm showing you right now how to get it done. All right, jumping into your WordPress dashboard, we're gonna go over to plugins. And we're gonna add new and of course I want to show you right now doing this just regular you can use this on any theme out there whatsoever inside of plugins clicking add new we are going to go ahead and come up here to search plugins and we're gonna look for YARP I know sounds weird but it stands for yet another related post plugin and as of today it has a hundred thousand plus active installs phenomenal reviews and it's been updated with your latest version of WordPress right so you always want to be certain that those things are in place with any plugin that you're using just best practices overall we're gonna go ahead and click install now and activate all right now that we have that active over here on the left side underneath settings you now have YARP right here and this is where you can start to kind of make some general settings of how you want to be using this feature. You can actually disallow on certain categories if you don't want it to um, show related articles. You can display password protected posts. You can display only posts from the past 12 months. You can display only posts older than the current post. That's interesting. You can also display results from all post types. So you've got some options here that are just kind of general broad options. You also have the ability to manipulate some options on the algorithm. So what do you want the algorithm to actually reference? Do you want it to reference the titles, the body, the categories, the tags, the project categories, if you're using that inside of Divi, um, project tags, what do you want to be doing here? Do you want to consider only the main categories? then you can just go ahead and say do not consider the title do not consider the uh, the body absolutely consider the category you can consider the tags if you want up to you if you just want to run specifically off of categories that's the way you would set this scrolling down you're now going to go ahead and do the settings for you to display your options right so where do you want these to actually display on pages posts media or projects of course we're just running on posts right now right that's where we want it to display inside of our blog you could also have it display on your archives page, which is typically your overview of your category page, or when you click on blog and it lists all of them down the page, you can have that there as well. This is where you'd wanna set the max number of posts. I'm gonna go ahead and say three. I like a, a three uh, type of column display. If you wanted to do two different theme options here, you can do a list view or a thumbnail view. I'm gonna say in thumbnail view, you can change the heading. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as related posts. You can change a default image if you'd like. You can also say default display uh, if there are no results. So you can say no related posts or no posts at this time. Or you can change that to whatever you want it to say if there are no posts related to the other posts. And you can also add a really cool link here to Yarp and just brag on how cool they are for giving us such a free solution. I'm going to go ahead and check that for now. Display related posts in the feed. If you want to do that with the RSS feed, I'm going to leave that alone. And of course, if you're super advanced and you want to check out the REST API options, they have some advanced stuff here. For now, and for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to click Save Change. There you go. And let's go to the front side of the website. I'm going to go to All Posts here for a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and just view one of my posts. And once you do that, you'll scroll down to the bottom and you'll see you've got related posts living right here. There are my three. A little bit of the text there. Obviously, um, this is just temporary 
content for now. And this, of course, is what one will look like if there are no related posts. There you go. Easy enough. All right, let me show you how to do this now working in Divi. All right, working in Divi to create related posts, we're going to go to Divi and go into the theme builder. Here, we're going to go ahead and click add new template. And we want to assign this to all posts, so all singular posts. That's what we want to do there and click create template. Here's where we want to go into add custom body. And we are going to build the custom body from scratch. And of course, build from scratch. We're going to go ahead and do this. And here we're going to use some dynamic content, right? They've got really cool dynamic modules in here. If we scroll down, we're going to be able to find the post title. Let's throw that in there, right? We can choose the elements that we want to show. If we don't want certain things, you can just toggle them off. That's easily done. I'm going to go ahead and toggle off comment count and author. There you go. And I'll leave the rest like that. That's great. I want to go ahead and put the picture above. Love it. Looks great. And go ahead and check that. Great. Next, we're going to go ahead and put another one and we're going to put the post content all right we're just kind of building this whole thing out here there's the post content good that'll live down the page and then here's the fun part we want to go ahead and add in the related posts now we don't really have an out of the box module for this exact thing that we want to do so i'm going to show you a free solution we're going to x out of that we are going to go ahead and save what we're up to here all right, go ahead and save where you are. And then I've got a link in the description box and in this blog article to take you over here to this article right here from Elegant Themes, how to design a recent post by category option, right? That's what we want to do. We want to put a layout like that at the bottom. So here's what's great about this, you guys. They've done all the work for us. Just come right here, enter in your email address, and go ahead and click download. I'm going to do that right now. There we go, and click download. Now that we've done that, we have this little text link right here that says download the files. We're going to go ahead and click that. It's going to download a zipped file. If you want to do this just step by step, it's actually going to give you the entire tutorial right here, step by step by step. But I'm all about working smarter, not harder. So we've got that little zipped file right now, right down here. We're going to go plug that in. Let's jump back into our WordPress dashboard. Right back here into our builder screen, we want to go right here. If this is closed up, you want to just open that back up, right? We want to click on this little up and down arrow. This is an import export option. Let's do that right there. We want to go to import and we want to go select that file that we just downloaded, right? I went ahead and extracted it. So we want to go ahead and extract it from the zip file. You should have a JSON file here. Clicking on that. There it is. We don't want to replace content. We want to just go ahead and import the settings. Let's go ahead and do that and go ahead and click. Here we go. And check this out, y'all. Here they are. Here they are. It looks absolutely beautiful. That built it all for me just right there easily and quickly. Now you might say, these aren't my colors, Corey. I have no idea what you're up to here. Well, this obviously was the exact example that they had here, right? But from here, we can play around with uh, changes easily and quickly. Let's go back into it. Of course, you can change the entire gradient. Get rid of that. Go into the background. Just take it out. There you go. Done. We don't like this big block chunky text. Take it out. Gone. Done. Love it. We don't like this gap here. Let's zip that up just a bit, right? Play around with that just a little bit right there. Good. I don't need this box. Take that out. Play around with it all you like. It just really, really can look spectacular. Let's go ahead and click save. Now that we've got that built, that should be applicable then to all of our posts, right? Maybe again, you don't want to have the author in there. Of course, you can go into each one of these individual blocks and tinker around and play with them. You can change the 
elements, right? If you don't want an author to be shown, you can take those off, change those attributes around, um, apply them across the board if you want, right? Make that change easily and quickly. But for the sake of now, I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. Way up here in the top right-hand corner, you wanna go ahead and click the X to go to the previous screen. And click Save Changes. All right, let's go take a look at one of our posts and see what it looks like. All posts. Go into View. And here we go, scrolling down now, we've got a full width image here. Of course, you could have put a right sidebar on the layout if you wanna go back and do that, you can easily do that. You can add some spacing here with a title. Easily done, just kinda of tinkering around with it. But check this out, y'all. There are our additional four blog articles living down here, just beautifully done. If you only wanted three, you can just put three. Easy, easy, easy. Hey y'all, so I hope that helps. Be sure to check out Liquid Web if you have any questions about hosting or support on your WordPress website. I'll put the link to them in the description box below. Of course, if you love Divi and you haven't gotten there just yet, you've been watching this and you're going, oh my goodness, that's so cool. I have an entire playlist dedicated to Divi and I'll give you a link that you can use uh, to jump over there and grab a copy of your own so that you can be running on an amazing WordPress theme. All right, y'all, I will see you next week. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Bye, y'all.